A C C O O N hyphen 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 F O R M E R S. What does that spell? Raccoon Formers, yeah! Raccoon Formers, the YouTube channel for all of your Transformer needs. Hello everyone, Raccoon Formers here, and welcome to another Transformers Earth Wars in-game character review. And first of all, if I sound all gravelly, it's because I have a cold. I apologize. Today is May 9th, which means Rise of the Beast is officially one month away. Can you believe that? I sure can't. So to get y'all pumped for that movie being released next month, I'm going to be releasing my next Transformers Earth Wars in-game character review off of a character who will be making their live-action debut in Rise of the Beasts. This time, I'll be reviewing the character of Mirage in Transformers Earth Wars. I know this isn't a character who transforms into a beast making their live-action debut, but this is Mirage's live-action debut, and I am not counting Dino from Dark of the Moon. Sure, he sometimes is called Mirage, but I think he's only ever been called Mirage online. He, I don't think he ever got called Mirage in Dark of the Moon. I think he was just called Dino. So I'm not counting that as Mirage's live-action debut. Also, because Dino is red, Mirage in G1 is blue, and Mirage in Rise of the Beast is blue. So that's Mirage's true live-action debut. But we'll have to wait a little bit longer for that. But to get y'all excited, let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at Mirage's details for the version of Mirage in the game. Here we have Mirage, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, he looks super cool and super accurate to how he looks in G1. I'm not a huge fan of the wheels just sticking out like that, but it's alright. Awesome looking head with super pretty looking eyes. A super cool cyan looking color. I've always been a fan of that kind of blue. We did that stretch again. Very cool. Big Autobot insignia plaster on his chest to let you know whose side the sky's on. Yeah. Transform. Obviously, he transforms into a way different looking car than what he transforms into in Rise of the Beast. In Rise of the Beast, he transforms into a normal looking car. Here, it looks like he transforms into a race car similar to Francesco Bernoulli from Cars 2. So, that's that. I also prefer... Mirage's car mode in Rise of the Beast, but let me know which one you like best. Anyway, transform. I am a huge fan of that transformation. It is probably the cleanest one in this entire game. So, pretty decent looking character, and I'm definitely excited to see Mirage's live action debut in Rise of the Beast. Let me know in the comment section below if you will. Friends, this pretty much wraps up this video review. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to click that big red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a future video. And since Rise of the Beast is coming next month, you're probably wondering what I'm going to do with my next Transformers Earth Wars in-game character review. Because before I was only planning on making these videos with every 9th leading up to June 9th, which is the release of Rise of the Beast. But I decided to change that. I am going to make one more Transformers Earth Wars in-game character review off of a character making their live-action debut in Rise of the Beast on June 9th. I'm going to keep that character a secret, so that way you'll be more enthusiastic on tuning in next month. But it's still completely up to you if you want to tune in. I'm just going to leave it a, a surprise to make it a bit more exciting, you know? So make sure to rendezvous back here on June 9th after you see Rise of the Beast if you're planning to. I know that's where I'll be next month. Let me know in the comment section below if you're planning on seeing Rise of the Beast opening day. And also, gang, there are 31 days left until the release of Rise of the Beast. Can you believe that? It feels like it was just yesterday when it was 2022 and I made that 12 party calendar series to try and get through 2022 faster to get to the Rise of the Beast. And now it's coming next month. Can you believe that? I am so ready for this movie, and I'm glad that series helped us get through 2022, but we're getting off topic. I'm just still so ready for this movie. I am. Let me know in the comment section below if you are. Anyway, y'all, that's all I have to say. As always, I'm Rick and Warmers, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.